Now then people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. It is Sunday the 27th of July. I'm a very tired boy. We were up late last night, of course, doing the Euro 2020 content. As of course, Wales were beaten 4-0 by Denmark. And then Italy beat Austria 2-1 in extra time. It was a great day of content. If you want to join me, we do have... Netherlands, Czech Republic, Belgium, Portugal to look forward to today as well. So subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, notification bell so that you don't miss them streams because we had a great stream last night. Hopefully you'll join me for the streams a little bit later on today as well. But this is your daily lead. So this is your latest news roundup from Ellen Road 4 Patch and everything concerning leads. So let's get into the video. So guys, um, plenty to go through, as always is the case. However, I do feel like I'm repeating myself at the minute because uh, with it being transfer season, there's always the same updates around the similar sort of players. And we also hear from Rad Razani and his ploy to to buy Salah and Tiano. I, I know a lot of you have been teaching me how to pronounce it in the comments. I've tried. I can't. My apologies. So I'm just going to keep butchering it. Um, but let's start, first of all, with Nico Williams, of course. He laid on a lovely assist yesterday for Denmark's first goal. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. But yeah, Nico Williams apparently is ready to hand in a transfer request in order to force his exit as Leeds United way in the wings. That's from the Daily Mail. He's away at Wales duty. I'm not sure he's ready to hand in a transfer request, and I'm not even sure that Leeds United are interested in him. But the Daily Mail would have us believe in order to force through his move to Leeds, he's willing to hand in a transfer request. We shall have to wait and see on that one. Uh, we're hearing as well from um, Belgium that apparently Noah Lang is keen on a move to the Premier League. That's from the Football Insider, and that's going to potentially hand a massive boost to, of course, the Whites. But I really like Noah Lang. There's question marks over his character. The perfect one for me will be Matthias Kuna. But apparently, Noah Lang is very keen on the move to the Premier League. Why wouldn't you? No disrespect to the Belgian top flight, but the Premier League is one of the top leagues, if not, in my opinion, the best league in the world. So, of course, he would want to make that move to the Premier League. And for a club like Leeds United, I mean, why wouldn't you? We're going places. Loads of updates as well, of course, on Nathy Hernandez. It's been reported by every man and his dog. Thank you to everyone who keeps tagging me and uh, showing me them tweets, Instagram posts, whatever it may be. But it seems to be everywhere. It does look like Nathy Hernandez is the one, and a lot of places are reporting that he is fast approaching Leeds. The Carrillo del Sport in Italy uh, said they are only a few details missing for the transfer of the Uruguayan. Um, but the farewell to Sardinia is increasingly likely. Of course, we know that Roma were interested. And apparently, they've moved on. We knew that Inter were interested, um, but they never made a concrete offer. And uh, Fiorentina also were due to enter the race, but they recently bought Nicolas Gonzalez, who coincidentally we were linked with last summer, but it looks like they've spent their money there. And it's been reported that Nathan Hernandez are now in advanced talks. The club are ready to make an offer close to the release clause set at 36 million euros. So we'll have to wait and see if we're willing to do that. I seen an article yesterday by the brilliant Joe Donoghue on Leeds United Live, and he made the point of saying, will Leeds United actually exercise this release clause? Because we had the opportunity to pay a similar sort of fee for Rodrigo de Paul and decided against it. Um, the relationship between Rad Razani and the uh, owner of Calgary may have some part to play in this. Maybe Leeds United won't need to exercise the £36 million uh, pound release clause and just get close to it. Um, but as has been reported, there only seems to be a few details missing. A lot of clubs have you know, been warded off and it seems like Leeds United only is the destination that Nandes, his agent, and Leeds United and everybody wants. you know. Uh, and the relationship, as I say, between Rad Rosani and Cagliari is really, really good. So hopefully we can get that figure close to €36 million Euros as opposed to the 36. And we can make that deal happen. And remember, guys, there's the left-back situation. The left-back, apparently, that we want. We are in competition with a number of clubs. Of course, I really like Javi Gallan. We've seen Romain Parad. We've seen Tagliafico. That's gone very, very quiet. We haven't heard from him for a long time. And it's now been reported by Catalonian Radio, which, of course, is a Barcelona uh, radio station, stating that Leeds United have inquired 
about the availability of left-back Junior Furpo. Um, apparently, a host of clubs are after him. West Ham, Southampton, again, Southampton. We're both after a left-back, that's for sure. Fiorentina, Napoli, but the big one is AC Milan. Uh, a journalist for Mundo Deportivo in the Barca Times said that Leeds will go and face competition and go up against AC Milan for the signature of Junior Firpo. He's only played 24 games in the last two seasons for Barcelona. So it's, it isn't surprising that he is, of course, looking elsewhere. And this could be the unnamed left back again. Every new name that gets mentioned, of course, it's unnamed, but then it becomes named, but it's not being named by the club, if that makes sense. But it could be Junior Firpo and it could be what Orta's alluding to when he says that we're going to face a lot of competition. And as I've spoke to you before, you know, Orta does bring gems, can bring players from huge clubs that you wouldn't expect to make that move. So watch out. Maybe Junior Firpo is that unnamed left back. Another update on Dan Juma. Although I don't think Leeds are actually interested in Dan Juma, I just wanted to bring it up. Of course, he basically issued a come and get me plea. Um, to Leeds United saying he would love to move to the club. And it turns out Wolfsburg are among a number of clubs interested in signing him. So even if Dan Juma is wanted by Leeds, there will, of course, be a competition for his signature. Commiserations as well to Wales and our main boy, Tyler Roberts. They were put out of the competition comprehensively yesterday by Denmark getting beat 4 nil and um, he only played about 12 minutes in the whole of the tournament they should have used him a lot more of course I'm going to say that of course I'm biased but look from a Legion United perspective from a selfish perspective he gets to go on his holidays now come back for pre-season fit ready raring to go and just to finish guys I talk, spoke to you yesterday about the Serie A club uh, Salarentiano who coincidentally were formed 1919 so maybe you know there's a little bit of a link there but Rad Razani was hoping to secure Secured the signature of this club and they gave until the 3rd of July. Well, the previous owner, Claudio Lieto, had two decisions to make. Either he made it, he sold it outright, or he gave it over to um, a consortium, as it were, which would give him more time to find a proper owner. And he has decided to do that. So, Loyoto's representatives yesterday submitted paperwork to the Italian Football Association at around 25 past 10 on Friday evening, which then placed the club into the hands of this consortium trust, which then means that Loyoto has a further six months um, to get rid of the club without any sort of comeuppance for him and his Lazio side, which then might mean that Radrozani won't look to acquire it at a cut-down price. And, of course, he only gets till July the 3rd. So it looks like the chance for Radrozani to buy that club may have been missed. But again, guys, as is always the case on the weekend, sometimes with the Euros going on, it's not a jam-packed news day uh, at Leeds United. Hopefully we'll have, we'll have more news for you tomorrow. Make sure you join me a little bit later on for the watch-alongs as well. But as always, thanks for tuning into the video. Make sure you smash a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you back here bright early on Monday morning at 6am. Peace out. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds.